Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel or the Patreon. Today we are checking out Percy Jackson episode four. <laughs> Just in case anyone doesn't know, in case you haven't, you know, seen any of my business proposal reactions where I kind of explain where I've been um, or on Patreon at all, um, I've been really sick. For some reason around Christmas time, like everybody got super sick. I don't know what was going on in the air or whatever, but I was literally bedridden for like two weeks. I had no energy. I lost my voice, had a really bad cough and a stuffy nose. So somehow I didn't I didn't have COVID. I, I tested five times and all of them were negative. Um, so I guess that's a good thing, <laughs> but I was just so out of it that like, obviously, it, you know, recording wasn't really in my things to do. I just needed to rest. There's like one reaction where I did record myself while I was sick because it was like the beginning stages of my sickness and literally the whole entire reaction. You could barely understand me because my nose is so stuffy. <laughs> my nose is so stuffy. So anyways, if you're wondering why it's taking me like two weeks to get back to this, it's because I was sick. Thank you to everyone that, you know, sent well wishes and everything. I really appreciate it. But obviously, as you can tell from, you know, how I look and also just how I sound, I am feeling much 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 better and so we are back with some more percy jackson i have been enjoying the show it's been a, such a fun show for me so i have been liking every single episode i think the only thing like that i i at this point i feel like is a little like it's like oh i wish like you know for me it's the fight scenes they, they're so quick they're so quick i'm like okay here we go and then i'm like oh we're done <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's because I just didn't have, you know, a ton of time to, you know, put it all out there like that right now. Um, and I know they don't have a ton of episodes that they have planned for the season or, or if there is another season. I think that that's the one thing I'm like, ah, I just wish the fight scenes were a little bit longer. Yeah, but that's about it though. I've been enjoying it, but I am see seeing some comments saying this show is really bad, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Whatever. Anyways, let's get into it. Episode four. Let's go. What do you offer to help me save my mom if I turn to the two of you? What'd you say? I got off her head. <laughs> that was so badass of Percy. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, I love that underwater. Ooh, I just like I like how this intro just happened. You have to let go, Percy. I can't. Yeah, you really can. You just have to try. I did try, Percy. It could be dangerous for you if you don't know how to do this. For real. Just breathe, mommy. That's what you always tell me to do. Stop playing. Oh my god, that was so cute. Is this like one another one of those um Hello again, little hero? So, what the hell? She is coming. She is coming. Luke cares for me right away, but Alia, she made me earn it. Dang. Is that why you give me a hard time? I gotta earn it with you too? I gotta say, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The way you guys all talk, the way the gods want us to think, it isn't supposed to work that way. Percy, right? <laughs> Percy, like, this is not right. Awake. Well, I am now, thanks. <laughs> He's super grouchy when he doesn't get enough sleep. He's super grouchy when he doesn't get enough. Yeah. Okay, I like that conversation between Annabeth and Percy. That was nice. A lot of... What the hell was that? <laughs> A lot of good questions were being brought forward, so... Are those... Centaurs. Oh, they're just in the back. Look at them! What happened to them? Humans. Damn. Ever since without Pan to protect the natural world, humans have been trying really hard to chip away at it. Why do we always just ruin everything, y'all? Dang. <laughs> the Oracle didn't say the quest would fail. The harder you work to understand, the harder it gets to understand. Dang, why? Okay, why well, I feel like she preaching to me. Yeah, yeah, Annabeth, yeah. You are in cabin 17B. What about it? I don't trust this police officer. Oh. You want to explain? Does it really look like they did that? We don't know how this happened. 
We got a witness here says she heard the window smash and then heard children's voices. Oh, come on. Who the hell is this witness? Are we under arrest? Right, Annabeth really said, take that tone what's the point? Girl. Don't call her a little girl. Don't call her a little girl. Don't call her a little girl. Are we under arrest? Exactly. All right, Annabeth, this was not the time to, oh my God. Do you mind if I sit? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do mind. You poor dears. Uh-uh, hell no. Fake, 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 fake. Something on your jacket looks like, looks like glass. What? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Smashed out the windows from inside our cabin. <laughs> Someone smashed them in from the outside. Grover, a detective. And she looking like, oh shit. <laughs> yes, sweetheart. I know, I know. We gotta go, we gotta go. This isn't your fault. But sadly, you're going to have to bear the burden of your parents' mistakes today. Listen, the hell we are, uh-uh. We've run across a few monsters like you, and we've sent them all packing. Oh, purchase it. They were my children. Children? Mother of monsters. Echidna. Okay, Echidna. We, we still got it, though. We, we got you. If I exist for anything, it is to stand in the way of monsters. Okay, so who's swinging first? Who's swinging first? Today, you will be her prey. She talking to us a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie. She talking. <laughs> Are we just gonna see her, y'all? We gotta go. We gotta go. You should run now. Whoa, wait a minute. He Annabeth, get that. Get that. Get that. Your monster wasn't doing nothing because they just got stabbed, period. Bye. Okay, but per did Percy get hit, though? You got ahead of yourself. We'll work on that. I want to see her final form. See, that's what I mean. We just started in, like, okay, it's not over yet. Okay, I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Percy. See, I told you he got hit with something. That's not good. Poison? Okay, it's a stinger. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! We just need a safe place to hold up. Someplace safe. A sanctuary dedicated to Athena. Ooh! Oh, I love that. That was dope. That was dope. We're safe here, right? No monsters can enter. Not even a kitna. We gotta have a plan, because, like, us going on another train ain't gonna work. I've only been a demigod since last Saturday. You shouldn't listen to me. <laughs> Percy's so real for that. <laughs> Maybe you could say hi to your dad while we're here. No, thanks. Damn. Mm. I don't want anything from him. He's had his chances. Honestly, you've done more for me in the past few days than my father's done in my entire life. Mm. Mm. Careful. I think you're about to call me a friend. I mean, laughing at us, but you know, <gasps> it's that singer. Okay, all right. <laughs> the what? That was a good. Hey, Annabeth, she thinking? Because I would have thought the same thing too. You know, I think it's. I think it's working. This is a great call. Okay. Oh, he look a little pale. Oh Lord. Is it working? And she's coming. Did you hear that? Hear what? Okay, Annabeth, what, girl? What was that back there? What did you hear? He said my impertinence wounded my mother's pride. Deuce's head. I embarrassed my mother. Your mother embarrassed herself, Loki. We gotta get everybody out of here. Pull the fire alarm. Follow them down. What? No, no, we're, we're not splitting up. Go over it, come on. Someone has to stay back to slow her down and buy everyone some time. Annabeth, does that person have to be you? I mean, we could figure this out, all of us. Oh my God, I can't. Wait. Take this. Whoa! 
Percy. All right. Percy. Percy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of smooth though. That was nice. He had that all. Okay. Um, what? <laughs> he said, not today. Not you. <laughs> I would have never made it to Hades. Percy? Oh my God. Percy, please. Percy, you can't do this on your own. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my Ooh. Ooh. Okay, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Watch him come through. Watch him come through in this moment. Oh, there's water here. I knew it. Oh, is he caught? Oh, no. Dang, he couldn't have, like, make sure he didn't get caught. <laughs> All right, Percy. Your father sent me to tell you. It is so hard for him to stand back, to see you struggle. Hmm. He's here, and he's so very proud. Just breathe. Hi, editing me. I just wanted to pop in and say that in this moment, when this creature of some sort or whatever is underneath in the um, water with Percy, they say, just breathe. And that's exactly what Percy tells his mom in the beginning of this episode when she's trying to teach him how to swim and i was like ooh, i caught it while editing i was like ooh. Mm -hmm. so i don't know if that was his mom i doubt that but i just think that in that moment when they were like trust your dad and then they said just breathe i think that was like i don't know like a moment where he could trust because of like that statement in how much it means to him because it it's what his mom used to tell him so anyway i just thought i'd add that in there ah! let's go whoa okay episode four i would say okay i think oh was i out of focus this whole time yeah All right, y'all. Well, obviously, since I was watching it, I didn't notice that I was out of focus. So my bad. If I was out of focus, there's nothing really I can do. I'm sorry. That is so annoying. Um, okay, that was episode four. Yeah, um, I will say what I was going to say was I will say that fight scene. I like that. I think that was like, mm, I think it's my favorite fight scene that I've seen so far. I don't know. I like the I like the one at Camp Half-Blood, though. That was kind of dope like his sword glowing in the dark forest and the way he ran at it that was dope it just ended so fast well also the fight scene between him and Clarice was pretty dope too so that was pretty cool but I think when he's facing like the monsters I think this is really I think this is my favorite kind of like he got away and then they would keep chasing him and then he got away and it was like okay so but there still wasn't much fighting that I felt like I was like you know I thought that was an interesting wrap up there with, between like his father saving him because Percy said in this episode that like he wants nothing to do with his father like you know that that's just kind of how he feels and I don't blame Percy I really don't I really don't blame him for thinking that way it's been so 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 long and his father to his eyes haven't hasn't done anything for him you know I think him seeing his mother go through things and also him going through his own things I think he just kind of was like I don't really care about my dad and I don't blame him for thinking like that but for his father to save him I think it was like a moment that for Percy to be like okay at least like look at it as in like maybe me and my father can work together in a way him thinking like my father doesn't really care about me but 
his father caring about him. It was kind of obvious obvious that it was gonna happen like that. Cause I'm like, there's no way they're gonna kill Percy off, obviously. And that's not even how the story goes. But I like how they they built it there though, because like I said, with his with what he said earlier and how like he doesn't really care for his father and he, you know, has never done anything for him in that way. I think that him saving him meant a lot and had more impact that way the way annabeth was so ready to sacrifice herself for them like yes girl yes girl and you know what i thought i thought it was interesting because prissy mentioned about how like one would betray him he kind of in his head was like well if anyone would it be annabeth but i know that she would try to make sure to get whatever needs to be done done so let's bring her and you know if something goes wrong i know grover's got my back i thought it was interesting that Annabeth was the one to have their back in that moment. You know what I mean? I don't know if Percy realizes that, but I I do think in the moment I was like, oh wow, Annabeth like sticking up for them. And I mean, I knew Percy sending the head was not a good idea, but Percy's just kind of like, <laughs> he's kind of, how do I explain? Well, one thing I love about him is, and even in that conversation that him and Annabeth were having while they were on like this train, was that like, why do we have to listen to what the gods say? why do we operate this way you know like he's questioning everything he's like why do we have to do that we don't have to do that and so he kind of like it's like f the status quo <laughs> we're gonna change it because it's not right like that's kind of how percy is in that way so him him sending the head honestly falls in line with that but you know annabeth felt guilty in a way because she let it happen but she really she did say it was a bad idea <laughs> but she didn't stop it from happening either so i really just like some of the conversations that annabeth and like percy and grover have sometimes just to going deeper into like even the lore or just like their own thoughts about the gods and what they think because i think a main theme along you know the series or even just the show so far is like they keep talking about like you will be your uh, you like what did she say to them about like their parents mistakes they keep mentioning their parents mistakes and how like they will pay for what their parents did and i love how percy and annabeth kind of analyze that and go why do we have to pay for our parents mistakes and i just love how in every way possible i think they're saying that we are not our parents mistakes we didn't ask to be here <laughs> in in that way and we're gonna and we're gonna change and we're not gonna allow that to be tied to us like i feel like that in itself is a really powerful message in, in that way they keep being told that you know they're their parents mistakes but i love how they push back and be like we're not our parents mistakes but we'll see we'll see how it continues to grow um i love the this, the design of the monster um this this round i kind of wish i could see the mother um i wish i could could have seen her uh final look maybe we will because the way that like she was kind of haunting and like I, i'm just gonna let i'm just gonna let her hunt you i'm not even gonna do anything i'm just gonna let her hunt you she had some powers always obviously um the way that like she made the hole there and i could i could assume that she looks somewhat similar to her children so but i wanted to see her in her final form i don't know but yeah i guess the last thing is i don't is he well he probably is healed now because he went into the water so because i was like is he healed from the stinger um but he probably is now that he was in the water and saved so he should be okay hopefully so anyway that was episode four leave your thoughts and comments down below if you are enjoying it and you want to watch with us full on cut it's over on the patreon uh link is always down below in the description but that's about it i will see you guys on the next one